Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So right now, today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave. We're currently in the middle of a war that we will hopefully try to win and figure out what we're doing next. So, some people have told me they want me to go democratic, while other people have told me they want me to go dictatorship. Regardless, I will re-establish the United States of America. Now, obviously, I'm not, I can't go with home is Nevada. So, we're going to be stuck with the American Dream, which is fine. Whether I become a dictator, or become a democracy, that's yet to be seen. I'm kind of myself feeling that I'm going to become a dictator. But, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Especially if we go down the Ganon Doctrine, or as firm as Granite. So, definitely see what happens there. Um, I've been told not to go with segregation, because that's not very cool. <clears throat> And I'll go with probably expand the definition of human, but regardless, we got to choose a focus for right now. Um, before we do that, we got to make sure what we're doing. Right now, we're still hiding from the NCR. Very important to remember that. Um, we could warn people of the Red Menace. We're pretty good on on stability and war support for now. And right now, we definitely need more infantry equipment and power armor. So we could do Enclave Police. We lose a little bit of population, but we get more stability and daily political power which come in, could come in handy we could get more legitimacy after that and political power or amnesty for service uh yeah probably i'll go with out with the old but is there anything right now that could give me um more factory output um let's see integrate officers that doesn't really help you with very much Let's see, integrate scientists, Americans one and all. I'll probably be, probably accept them for who they are. Blah, 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 stuff like that. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I'll probably do this when we go to war with the NCR, or maybe sooner, who knows. Daily political power gain, even though I can only get point one more, that still could help. Let's see, for this gives you even more political power or less consumer goods factories. And this would give you less stability and more intellectual support, or for the NCR. The Bishop Incident and the Lucia Incident are very, very important for us when we do go to war with the NCR, so that would be very important to do. We could stage Rager attacks, but obviously we don't have enough infantry equipment, so... <sighs> it's always hard making decisions with great focus trees. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this. Get a little more daily political power, lose a little bit of recruitable population, and stability. We'll get stability and reduce the effects of partisans on us. And I'm going to keep a lot of my political power right now, just because we will need it against the NCR. But in due time, I will probably go with someone else. Quality teams. Power armor production. I could use more power armor. I'm going to go ahead and just keep whatever I have. So right now, I've stopped the attacks. And we're just going to help defend. That's, that's my main goal right now. Just help defend. Reduce the enemy's strength. Yeah, they still have quite a bit of manpower. Let's see, casualties. We've suffered 19, they've suffered 187. I don't want to make too many infantry divisions, but I need enough so I can help guard my line. So, go ahead and just defend. Let them waste their materials and manpower and resources on these guys. I am trying to strike through here. Seems to be an okay target. Go ahead and open up that front as well. Open up an another Ta to attack from. Two sons declared war on them. You don't need to move north, just take that ter territory. And they're attacking us once again. Spies compromised. We have received an emergency transmission from our espionage in the New California Republic. They claim to have been compromised and have abandoned their base of operations as a result. Days away from the border and on a foot, they are asking for an emergency evacuation. Heroic extractions and no man left behind look good in after action reports, but we need to consider our operational security as a whole when deciding our response. So, if we do this, it'll cost more if we send a Ventibird to guard ourselves or keep ourselves secret from the NCR, but we lose, but we get manpower and stability. Uh, we can do this, which could hurt us. We lose contacts with spies. Spies and NCR relocated successfully. Or authorize an unsupported retreat. There's a good chance of spies being evacuated su successfully. So I'm gonna go with that. It's a good chance that it will actually succeed. So no problems there. Let's go ahead and get more encryption. And boy, I'm getting hungry. Actually, for some reason today, it took me quite a while to get this back started my hoi 4 game just because for some reason hoi 4 like decided to delete all my mods including 
what we're seeing right now with the Enclave Old World Blues mod. Nice. But, yeah, it was really kind of weird that I just come back and my mods are deleted, had to re uninstall the game, reinstall it, and I'm honestly on kind of a time crunch as I'm recording this. But anyways, spies in NCR evacuated successfully. After a week of radio silence, our spies have reported back to us on a secure channel. They have crossed the borders into the Enclave controlled territory and are requesting Ventibert evac for the rest of the distance home. Nice. And we did get spies back into there. Great. Great. Oh, so they're back. I can get my boys back or send them back if I need to. Uh, honestly, right now, I really need a lot more power armor equipment. And, of course, I need a lot of infantry equipment. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I think that would be good for just at least infantry equipment overall. Looks like they declared war on somebody. That's fine. God, this battle is taking forever to do. Which has helped prompt the enemy to try to strike at us. Which is fine. Um, go ahead. I'll send this infantry division in to attack later on. Give me the stronger division to help attack. Because I want to push these guys out. We've suffered 139 casualties compared to their almost 800. We have actually pushed them out. Good. Good, good, good. Send you this way and send... You're coming down here anyway, so that's fine. Awesome. And the Enclave Police. The new Reno is safer than you expect for a city with no police force, but that's because orders maintained by a gentleman's agreement between the families. We could incorporate many of their mobsters into our new police force, or we could start from scratch with police trained by Sergeant Dornan. Well, if we do, why don't we just use these guys? We lose legitimacy. We lose daily political power and stability, but we do get a little bit more manpower and recruitable population factor. Or you'd have to be a moron to rely on new Reno's gang. So I lose 10% stability, which sucks. But I get 5% legitimacy, which is what I kind of want, and more political power. So we'll do that. Alright, very nice. We could do the mutant question next. Which would reduce political power gain, but we get more non-core manpower. Lose division organization and attack, but more recruitable population. That's not bad. But... There are other things I want to do. Um... Could crack the code. Let's do old world radius. So we get even more political power. Could send out spies. Don't really need the spies at the moment. Man, I need more. I really just need more power armor. Like, so I'll probably go with power armor and save up the rest of my political power for when we have to hide from the from the NCR again. So right now we're at war, but I'm just kind of trying to get more. I guess army XP, you could say. With defending against the Antelope Reservation or Antelope Tribes. They're running out of manpower, which is great for us. Obviously, we don't have a lot of equipment. But, casualties aren't too bad, honestly. So, they've lost a thousand. For some reason, I thought we had a um, war goal against Chimalt Station or Chimalt Station. But regardless, right now, I'm going to just, just kind of hold on to the lands that we have. Try to build myself up a little bit more before taking too much more territory. Because I'm still worried about in the Lair of the Beast, so... And besides, being at war with these guys doesn't really mean too much as long as they keep attacking me. And I can get my soldiers a little bit more experience and give my generals and field marshal more experience as well. Old World Radio, nice. We lose a little bit of encryption, but that's okay. We get more daily political power. In which, we can get more consumer goods, or I can get more political power. Well, right now, we got 2.3 every day. Obviously, the focus will take some of that. Hmm... Consumer goods. Right now, I am really not using very much consumer goods at all. Could, but that could help in the future when we could use more. For political power, just getting a momentary boost in political power could help us against the NCR thing. So I think that would probably be better for now. We can always get more factories later. Oh, but more daily political power. But yeah, let's do that because political power in the early game is just so important to use. It's not even funny. I get even more encryption next. As we just kind of wait and build up our power armor. Right now, we're building like 2.68 a week. I could trade away one of my things, my factories, for more, uh, what do you call it, advanced technology. So now we're up to 4 a week, which is great. Because that's really my goal. Just increase as much power armor as I possibly can while doing as many focuses and building myself up. Old military theory committees. Because we want to get to, to the Department of Defense focus eventually. Ooh. More stability sounds really nice, but I need to need just to hold on to my political power right now. Or if I use it now. Yeah. 
I get 100 from doing that, so... Oops. Doing that right now wouldn't be bad. Alright. Are the Antelope's tribes out of manpower? I don't want... Yeah, they're out of manpower. They have fewer less divisions. And really, my goal is to kind of at least wait until the New California... New California Republic goes to war with Khazar's Legion, and we have border disputes. The Klamathians have disputed the legitimacy <clears throat> of our border and claim that they are the rightful owner of land. Their William, their leader William Brookhauer, has refused contact and does not appear willing to negotiate. Although these claims are clearly fraudulent, they may go to war with us on the basis of this in the future. Ooh, I have not seen this before. We will be ready for them. Oh god, that's not good. Anyways, um, old world propaganda. This hurts the New California Republic a little bit, which, not really too concerned about that. Let's go ahead and do the Super Mutant question thing, just because I think that'd be good. Drive out the Yakuza, gain Corn Vault City, Gecko Power Plant, which we could really use, probably, and Civilian Power Grid. Uh, let's do this one next. Cool. Hold on to my political power, because we need to do that. Um, let's see. Let's keep it going, because we're getting some pretty good army XP. Not a whole bunch, but some. Yeah, just keep attacking me, guys. This will make us feel really good. Let's see. Someone is trying to text me. And cool. Awesome. Yeah, even though, yeah, they're attacking... Ooh, I did not realize that they'd be attacking us so soon. Ah, uh, this is not going to go very well. How many days do they have until they can go to war with us? Okay. <laughs> wow. Over a year? Oh, I'm fine with that, then. I'm okay with that. By then, we, by the time they go to war with us, we will have, hopefully, we'll be okay. Oh, the super mutant question. Or the mutant question. Not the super mutants, just the regular mutants. So the Enclave of Old barely recognized the mutant denizens of the Wasteland as human. Many among us don't, still don't, desiring our clear lines to be drawn between purebred humans and Wasteland mutants. Wastelander mutants. The official stance of our government towards the muted, mutated subjects must be made clear to those within and without the Enclave. So, someone told me not to go with... Segregation. I actually went down that path yesterday when I replayed this again. It was alright. I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, it's very interesting because you can get a crap ton of infantry equipment because I love, love that. It seems like this pathway, segregation, sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, both paths are fun, but I guess I might not be able to get F-85 fighters, but that's okay. So, if we do segregation, we lose legitimacy and we get all sorts of good and bad things. But if we do, we fight not to enslave, but to set a country free, we become a little bit more popular with democracy, we lose political power, we get more non-core manpower, we lose organization and attack, which isn't very good, but we do get more recruitable population factors, so we'll do that. And since we're kind of waiting to see what happens, we're going to go ahead and try to integrate people, I suppose. Ooh, daily political power gain. Oh, these are just so negative effects. So I guess we'll do all this stuff. We'll lose political power gain and research speed first, because it doesn't seem too bad. With this political power, we're going to hide from the NCR one more time, at least. Ugh. Oh, God. Let's do that immediately. We're in the Red Menace. At least we're getting more st daily stability. So that's pretty good. We'll get more political power, less consumer goods used, factory output, and dockyard output. Cool. I'm getting hungry. I've not eaten yet, yet today. I'm thinking that the Antelope Tribe is going to go attack us at least one more time before I actually strike back at them. So I'm going to wait for that. Get more monthly population. <clears throat> right now our ens Ooh, power armor use is not very good. The fall of the Troll Warren and the fierce fighting Brotherhood of the Washington Brotherhood sees the Troll Warren. Um, mutants who were not roasted by flamers or incinerated will become slaves. Interesting. Starting to wonder who's the worst neighbor. I will begin attacking as soon as it is profitable for us, in which we are very, very capable of doing so. Uh, retool machinery. Oh, yeah, do that when we can. Just keep letting them attack us for now. I mean, they're just wasting their equipment, their manpower. They've already lost 2,000 people, so I'm not really too worried about that. They haven't increased conscription, I believe, yet. So, not bad, not bad. And when I push, I just want to have one good, clean, quick push. And the Mojave Brotherhood wants to send us power armor. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Even though I probably won't be able to get it because I have no convoys and I have no sea route where they can give me stuff. Ooh, another division. Nice. Integrate scientists. Awesome. And let's do this next. Even though this actually will really hurt us. 
integrating the scientists really hurts. But getting down to Americans one and all actually would be pretty good because we get political power, more non core manpower, more division, attack, organization, recruitable population, and we lose all three negative deb all three debuffs that we're basically doing right now. God, these guys are just killing themselves so hard. Which is great for us because we really Ooh, RK Ganon. We could really, really use Um what was I going to say? I can't even remember now. We could really use more equipment and whatnot. So, the return of Arcade Ganon. Since the Enclave's reform and integration of American citizens, some of those who have fled after the fall of Navarro have returned to us. Among those is scientist Arcade Ganon, the son of an Enclave officer who later joined the followers of the Apocalypse. Inspired by our promises of a better life for the people of the Wastelands, he's willing to return to the Enclave's ranks. Nice. Oh, we have even... Oh, yeah. We still have him. Cool. Come on. And... Integrate him. Cool. Decode signals. More decryption. Nice. Let's get more research speed. And we've integrated support, so a little more training time, but support companies should help us out in the long run. Even though I'm not even using support companies. Maybe I should have done this instead. Oh well. What's done is done. I will use support companies for my infantry anyways, and we'll get more recovery rate and more reinforce rate, which will be nice. Awesome. Yeah, these guys have really walloped themselves super hard. Like, ridiculously hard. Well... Since we need more factories, and these guys want to go to war with us, even though they're still quite a ways away, 400 days away, literally, I see no problem with trying to attack as long as we're careful. So, go ahead and basically try to conquer them. I need their factories. They only have five military factories, which will be helpful, as well as seven civilian factories. And do they have any resources? Oh, they have some advanced electronics. Oh, I need that. I definitely need that. And right now, we're pushing them pretty darn well. We integrate the politicians. And then we'll integrate the officers, which will lose political power. Oh god, and attack and organization. Ooh, that's really not good. The infantry, of course, are struggling a little bit down here. But really, it's up to my power armor to push through the enemies. Wow. Go ahead and help push. Just, if you can push that way, cut these guys off. Awesome. Just push up. Up. And actually push you out. Encircled. Awesome. And I got Adobe Housing. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see. Resource efficiency gain is important to me right now. But we'll do most of training because we can use more defense and breakthrough. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. That pretty much has destroyed any sort of resistance that they should have to us. So go ahead and go crazy. Power armor, folks. Just move on in. Very nice. Of course, we, these power armor divisions, they're only 10 combat width. So I just do want to remind everyone of that. Why don't you move up this way since this tile will be conquered anyways. You come this way, help take them out. They're still connected and we just got encircled, which sucks. But we'll be okay. Uh, go ahead and encircle this division. And send you this way to keep these people in place. Nice. Actually, if you could go that way, that'd be awesome. These guys are going to die. Awesome. We have 100 army XP. Great. Americans win for all. Please get to that because our attack just went down by 20%. Um, go ahead and do this up here. Cut. Oh, yeah. These guys are separated. Nice. Awesome. Oh, and we have a level 4 general. Does he have any skills? Skills to pay the bills? I don't. Well, actually, I do have skills, but... Not great skills. Someone became a desert fox, which is awesome. And we did it. Great. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. We got more electronics. Advanced electronics. And we finished off our war with them. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. So, be with the Van Graffs. Begin a scavenging program. That might be actually very, very good. Yeah, I really want to do this. So let's do that. I still have some XP. We got a lot of stability when we're not at war. And I really want to get rid of these debuffs, but we do have a good amount of advanced technology now. Great! And obviously I'm going to need more military factories, but now we're going to move up to the border with these guys. And once they're there, I can go ahead and start just building more. Just let them sit, get entrenched, make them not move so that they don't lose their equipment from attrition, and we'll have a great time. 
And I need 169 political power to do this. Ooh, that's a lot of political power. I will not be able to keep doing this for a while. I just gotta make sure that the NCR does not discover us. Scorpions, they're fighting, they're out of, oh god, they're out of manpower. The NCR has a lot of manpower. Actually, not that much. Darn it, they canceled their lend lease. That actually was really beneficial to us. But I needed those military factories for myself. Americans won it for all. Oh, look at that legitimacy. 51% legitimacy. I have not seen it that high ever. So we get more non-core manpower, political power, and we gain all sorts of benefits. Oh my gosh. So, now do I accept or reject ghouls? Reject super mutants. Oh, so if I do this, I automatically reject super mutants. Which isn't bad. If I accept ghouls, we get less war support, less, less stability, but we get more recruitable population. And stability is lost is based on popularity of elite's faction. And if I accept super mutants, I get even less stability and war support, but more construction speed, factory output. Oh my gosh, I have to do that. So I'm probably going to accept the ghouls. Um, ooh, show of force. I could go to war again with more people, but that just drives up the cost of my political power. Um, if I go to war with the Vault City... Are they allied with anyone? No. They have almost no manpower. They're trying to conquer this area. If I go to war with them, then I can fairly easily take this over. Core Vault City. Oh man, that sounds like a lot of fun. Holy crap. Uh, there's so many decisions I want to do, but there's sometimes not really good ways for us to do that. We did the American Dream. All this stuff can be kind of ignored for now. I do need to go with Department of Defense because I get another research slot. But I'll do that and later on, even though we will be at war against someone else later. Let's go ahead and go to war with Vault City. It only takes 30 days to do this. And they're busy in a war, so it's probably best to do this now. And do this before I actually click on hide activities from the NCR because I'm probably going to end up in a war with them. Go ahead and spend the political power or whatever. Not bad. Not bad at all. Klamath. Yeah, you still have a 200, 300 more days before you go to war with us, so I'm not too worried about that. All right now, oh, actually put you at the bottom. I, I would prefer to have better infrastructure right now, as well as another military factory. So we're improving our infantry equipment, which is great, and power armor, which is awesome. Now i got to remember, we only have 10 width power armor divisions, but against the NCR, when we fight them, we should be okay. We should be. I'll do this immediately. Nice, a show of force. Great. We can go to war with Vault City immediately if we need to. But come back over here and do Department of Defense. Because that's actually a really good one. Because we get another research slot and a bonus to Land Doctrine. Oh, I love it. Alright, so we're pretty much ready to go to war. Honestly, if we just immediately do it, the cost for hiding against the NCR is going to be insanely high. But it might be worth it. So go ahead. There's no one on the border here. So just... Move on in, guys. No worries. Um, I would like everyone to move in, please. Yeah, just go ahead and take Vault City. I mean, this was probably the best decision I've taken fairly quickly, even though we'll, the future will tell whether this was a good decision or not. Infantry, yeah, don't leave just the infantry to attack Vault City. They can't pierce my power armor, which is awesome. It sucks when you're trying to attack somebody, but then you get attacked in the butt, right? Gecko, please take Gecko. Uh, a Cyclops tribes, huh? I guess I could might be able to go to war with them. Nah, no, that, that take too long. Awesome. All we need is Gecko, and we've increased the amount of. I'm taking everything of resources we get. I'm not, I'm taking everything because these guys don't deserve anything. So that's good for us. Put you back on the border here. We've increased the amount of military factors we have. We've increased the amount of resources we have. I mean, this is going well. So when we go to war with the NCR, we should be pretty good. Wait, Vault City University? Huh. There's much left we can do to rebuild America beyond conquering the cities of the wastes. Let us win the hearts and minds of people. So we lose five civilian factories for 100 days, but we get 5% more legitimacy. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, yeah. We, I've really got to hold on, hold on to my political power now. Kind of sucks, but eh, whatever. Also, I could do better power armor. What is the difference between this and that? So, the one on the left is the one we're using currently. They get more breakthrough, same speed, same reliability, cost a little bit more, more armor, and more hardness. Let's do that. 
I forgot to do that earlier on, but whatever. Honestly, I kind of wish the Klamath would just go to war with me immediately. Because waiting this long kind of sucks. But that's alright. The Department of Defense, we have a research slot. Awesome, a vacuum tube. Defensive... Division Defense on Core Territory. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, look at this stuff. Oh, gearing up for war. Oh my god, I have to go with gearing up for war. Oh my god, there's so many focuses. This is such an interesting mod. I love this. I love Old World Blues, as well as a sub mod for, um... For the Enclave Reborn. Just lots of fun. Oh, we can get Core on Vault City. Or, right now, we can get Accept the Ghouls for more stability or more recruitable population. Um, I want that factory output and construction speed. So I'm going to go ahead and accept ghouls. We got the extra research slot, which is amazing. Get more research speed. And reinforce rate would be nice. I could do something here with logistics and improving our infantry's abilities to perform. So let's go with that. I mean, that means I will need to increase or actually produce some support equipment. So that's not terrible. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and... You know what? Civilian factories are fine. I'm trying to do that's good enough for now. Oh, we are producing support equipment. Nice. Scrap fighters. Awesome. Just keep increasing this. Not by too much, but just enough. Oh, this is going to be so good. We're going to have all sorts of things to be playing with when we go to war with the NCR eventually, as well as anyone else. This is just so good. We're trying to replenish the power armor of our divisions, which is fine. Even though they are only 10 combat width, which I will increase in the future. But I, right now, I just need divisions. Lots and lots of divisions. What is the NCR currently working on? Shock companies. So they went to war... They haven't gone to war yet with the Baja Californians yet. Um... Where are they? Oh, shock companies, huh? Why would you do that? Mechanized? I guess we're maybe trying to get more mechanized stuff. Nice. So we have a ghoul marriage. Since we've decided to recognize ghouls as U.S. citizens, an odd situation has arisen. Um, a wastelander from New Reno has demanded we recognize his marriage to a ghoul. Although we don't interfere with what is consenting with what consenting adults do in their bedrooms and really don't want to know with, with what they do, they brought a challenge to the new Supreme Court to hear the con constitutional challenge. We believe in the Constitution. Although one justice asked whether he, this was a priority in the grim post-nuclear wasteland, <clears throat> another member of the court has argued that civil rights are always important. The court has three options before it. The first is to say that we find ghoul marriage gross and we can deny rights to Americans based on our dislike so long as we aren't imprisoning or executing people. The second is to note that the 14th Amendment guarantees all U.S. citizens the equal protection of the laws and rule that banning ghoul marriage violates equal protection clause. Or we can issue a rambling decision that doesn't give anyone a clear standard to follow in future cases, but let us say love is love and get quoted at weddings. <laughs> oh my gosh, If oh, this, this, this event is funny. This is just funny. Adam and Eve and not Atom and Eve. Oh my gosh. Oh, this submod is so good. We get war support stability and political power for saying Atom and Eve or Adam and Eve. Let's go with a decision crafted to be used at weddings. More. Oh my gosh. Research speed and factory output and less consumer goods. Adopt an equal protection argument. Oh, this is exactly the same. Or we get this for just standard flat out stability and war support. Honestly, I'll go with... The decision crafted to be used at weddings or adopt an equal protection argument. Ghoul marriage, ghoul marriage. Um, I'm going to go with adopt an equal protection argument. Just because, because we can say love is love. That could end up being potentially used in different ways we don't like. So let's go with that because that sounds like fun. And let me get down to construction and accepting super mutants now. Nice. We lose stability and war support, but that's, in my opinion, worth it. Alright, not bad, guys. Really not bad. This is, this is turning out to be a lot of fun. We have 40% um, scavenge efficiency. I'm going to go ahead and roll out technology to scavengers, even though, in my opinion, or from what I found playing this submod, is that this doesn't work all the time. Like, you would do this to increase your scavenge abilities, but you only get research speed. You can't go up past 50%, which really sucks. But it is what it is, you know. Right now, we get 1.75 political power a day. That's really awesome. Holy crap. Man, we are producing maybe a little bit too much infantry equipment. Or too many infantry divisions. Um, do I have any bonus? No, I don't. That sucks. Adaptive chain of command. Nice recovery rate. Let's go ahead and go with walking tanks. for power armor, breakthrough soft attack, and heart attack. Great stuff. It's accepting super mutants. Awesome. Ja scavenger's jackpot. Nice. A scavenger has returned to New Reno with reports of an intact military base we thought 
lost with an energy weapon stockpile. Traditional scavengers have the right to property they find, but we could use it to and give it to our new police force to seize his fines. On the other hand, we will respect his claim. We will cement our claim to stand for order and rule of law. We can tax that, right? Or apply the laws to the people and govern... And apply laws to the people and the government alike. I'm going to go with this because it gives us more legitimacy. Because even though common energy weapons are nice, I already have a stock... Holy crap, I have a huge stockpile, so... Give me that legitimacy and national information infrastructure. So, Poseidon Net, Enclave Net, and the robot Robco Mail. The hardened information networks have survived. The great still operate in the wastelands, accessed by scavengers and fools. One of our scientists has studied the network in Gecko and proposed a radical plan to link all the computers together, creating a national information infrastructure. And we could listen to all of it with our enemies unaware. Ooh, daily political power key. I've not seen this before either. Plus. 20% description, plus 0.2 daily political power gain, and more stability, or... We get a research slot! <gasps> oh my gosh, I love both of these. Oh my gosh, this would be so good, but I have to have that research slot. I'm sorry. And in, and this will be the final thing we do with the Supreme Court Justice. So, Mr. President, astonishing news. A ghoul has appeared in Reno who claims to be a surviving member of the Supreme Court. He says he was on a ski trip when the Great War broke out and spent time in the last 200 years traveling the waste and administering justice. We were skeptical, but this calendar checks out, and restoring him to the Supreme Court could be a big step Oops, sorry, towards reviving America's legal system. Sorry, that was me hitting my phone by accident. Um, I hope he hires good law clerks. Oh, I really doubt an octogenarian judge survived nuclear war. I'm going to go with this, because that sounds like fun. Oh my gosh, I... Oh, this is, this is incredibly interesting playing this, but first... Before we move on, I'm going to have to make sure that we actually have... Okay, maybe not six. But how about two land forts or outposts between me and any territory I might have with the NCR eventually? Because that's a good pr protection area. Uh, I will build up more military factories once I'm done with that, which will be incredibly important. And then, of course, some more civilian factories as well. Let's do another research slot, because, oh my gosh, five? I was used to three. Now we have five? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got some recon, and that'll be it for today, guys. Um, we've done extremely great. So much better than I thought we would so far. Oh, we need a lot of political power, but that's why I've been saving it up. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. The NCR is struggling with the Scorpions. I will see you tomorrow as we continue to push and defend the Enclave lands. Thanks for watching.